Second Thursday of the month in a rollover month for the Stock Index Futures is the rollover rollover day. So we have rollover day. We're rolling from the Junes to the Septembers on the E-minis uh, stock index. Let's take a look at the S&Ps here. Um, we've got um, on the left, we've got ESM16, which is June E-mini S&P. And on the right is the Septembers, which is ESU16. And you see the market depth at the bottom. And you take a look. At this today's rollover day but which which one do you trade today we're still trading the June today and tomorrow we will trade the September and the way I'm, way I'm doing this is I'm looking at the difference between the volume the current volume today is 272 uh, or 270 it's changing 270 273 thousand over here it's 110 thousand and then we also look at the market depth um, the market depth is if you look down here here is the prices and the bids you see in the market depth matrix, the bids for the first 10 levels is the market depth and for the bids. And then the offers for the next 10 levels is the market depth for the offers. And you see the number of contracts being bid and offered at each level for the first 10 levels in the matrix. That's information is provided by the exchange. You can see it's updating quickly. And you can see the sizes of some of these market depths. And um, and on the right over here is the September. So you have the June on the left and the September's on the right. And I often wonder, well, what's the total number of of bids for the first 10 levels? What's the total number of offers for the first 10 levels on these? And this indicator up here is the market depth indicator. And the input is 10 because we're going to all 10 levels. And you can, you can see here... Um, there's 75, 7508 bids and 7369 offers. So the order book is about 15,000 um, between the bids and the offers in the first 10 levels. Over here on the right, about half as many, about 6,100. Um, as you can see, 3,000 bid, 3,175 offer. And so over here, the market depth and the volume on the September, on the Junes are still higher than the September. So we'll, we'll trade the the June's today and then tomorrow we'll change the contract to the September's and so that's how I determine that on rollover day it can be tricky it can be confusing um, and the at symbol um, will also change and so that's that's the setup that we're looking at um, the second in the second indicator here market depth ratio is the ratio of bids to offers and you see here um, there's 1.03 more bids than offers. You're just dividing the the market depth bids by the offers on this to get the um, ratios. And so, what are the? Um, it just tells you a number if if uh, you want to see if the ratio gets to an extreme, such as for the E-mini S and P's, 1.2 or 1.3 seems to be pretty extreme. Um, as far as the the ratio of bids to offers and so those indicators are nice I like having these indicators to take a look at and a lot of times you might hear oh the volume is light the volume is light and you may not may not be able to tell that the volume is light based on the trade volume um, so you see that a lot in the market commentary the, the volume was light today and, and you look at your volume on your e mini S&P chart and you say well the volume was a little bit lighter than yesterday, but not much lighter. What are they talking about? A lot of times they're talking about the market depth. The bids and the offers just aren't as thick, and they aren't there. And so you'll see lighter volume days uh, with less bids and offers. And so that's something that you can keep track of as a trader, and something that I take a look at on rollover to determine what the best the best way to roll over. So that's the update I wanted to share with you on how to t determine. Um, this I'll have this indicator available soon on the website, but uh, for now, just take a look at the volume. Volume is 281,000 versus 115,000, and so um, that's that's how you determine it. Let me know if you have any questions.